You mentioned fatigue earlier, and um, that's a problem a lot of people have. Yeah, it's I'll... one of the most common physical symptoms in cancer, either directly from the cancer or the drugs, you know, or the treatment. What was your experience of fatigue? Uh, I did find it a problem because I'm not the sort of person who wants to go to sleep during the day. And at first, I tried to do things to keep myself awake, yeah. whether it be reading a newspaper, doing a crossword. To fight it, really. Yeah, and fight it because I. I couldn't get into my head how I'd get up in the morning and an hour later I'd want to go to sleep yeah. or I'd want to go to sleep in the afternoon or early evening. It was just totally alien to me. Yes. Um, but then when I'd spoke to various doctors, they just said, look, if you're tired and you need to sleep, sleep. It doesn't matter. I know you had a session of radiotherapy, but where in relation to the whole thing was this fatigue really coming? Um, I think... Well, definitely prior to the operation, when I took really poorly, and then immediately after the operation for two, three weeks afterwards, mm. so, so tired, mm. so tired. But then it gradually... But it gradually got better. Yeah. You stayed awake a bit longer in the morning, or yeah. you perhaps wasn't having a nap in the afternoon. Yes. Or rather than going to bed at nine o'clock, you'd stay up till 10 o'clock. And... Now, I know what you're saying, that for totally fighting, it's impossible. But by the same token, doing something, especially with another person, can fight it because it ke it, there's a strong interest in something else going on. Did you, did you feel that was sometimes effective? Like somebody else coming round or going out for a little, doing something? Active? That's right. Like if, if somebody come to talk to you or, yeah. or you're seeing somebody new, somebody different, or there was somebody, I know, perhaps coming along, ask how your treatment were going yes. or pre-treatment or what was happening in the future, then yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And what was the effect of rest on the fatigue? Did you recuperate? Because some fatigues, you don't actually recover that much. At first, I didn't feel any different. I just kept feeling tired, tired, tired. Mm. But then eventually, once I got into, it was like a pattern. You sort of get up in the morning, have breakfast or just a drink or whatever. Uh, perhaps wash, redress yourself or help if need be. And then you'd have a rest. Yeah. And then it'd probably be lunchtime and then You'd probably stay awake for a couple of hours, go sleep in the afternoon, and if need be, go to bed early at night and just sort of go with the flow, as it were. Yeah. And once I got into that little routine, although it sounds really simplistic, it did help. Yeah. And what was the effect of sleep or the relationship between sleep and fatigue? Were you sleeping well but still fatigued? Um, at first, I think it was probably restless sleep hmm. because I was fighting it. It was like... My body was tired, but my head was awake, if you know what I mean. Um, but then eventually the sleep did start to help. Mm. Uh, also, like in conjunction with my eating pattern, like having breakfast, having lunch, having tea, and once like you've sort of fitted them all together, then it did start to help. Yeah. But at first, no, it didn't. Okay.